Bucket hat, bucket list. Bucket lists are interesting things. I don't really have bucket lists per se, but I have certain things that I'd like to do before um, old father time catches up with me. And one of them is to see as many cool bands as possible. And one of those bands uh, just happens to be Idols. Missed them a couple of times in various cities, but finally caught up to them in Montreal last weekend with my buddy Dan and the beautiful Linda. And we had a great time. It looked a little bit like this. Can't think of any other bands that I really want to see. We talk about this fairly often within the music community. Um, you know, what bands could you, what bands from the past would you see today that are part of your bucket list? Or new bands, uh, who, who, would, uh, who would you check out in this day and age of new bands who are currently touring? Can't really think of too, too many right now, but certainly Idols was at the top of the list and they did not disappoint. It was very intense, um, amazing show. Mosh Pit was huge. Um, three of us went in. Uh, we didn't see Dan for about uh, two hours. He was uh, stuck in the mosh pit and he was a sweaty mess once uh, the show ended. They played for two nights in Montreal at M. Tellus. Uh, 2,300 people per night sold out both shows. And um, I think we decided that um, on paper, it would be amazing to see both nights, but in reality, uh, one night was sufficient. Two nights with that intensity and the mosh pit and all that would, uh, would have been a lot. But uh, yeah, we are certainly glad we saw them live. Incredible band. Got some vlog news for you, but first, let's go for a ride. Why is it when you do household chores the next day, you're way more sore than you would be if you had just ridden 100k. Linda and I had some projects that kept us off the bike yesterday. One of them was to paint a deck. Now, the deck size, I'm not talking, uh, you know, the same footprint as the Louvre. It's probably, I don't know, six by eight. Sweet Jesus. My body feels like I painted the White House. White. <laughs> Now, if I was 20, would I be griping this much about painting? Probably not. So, we're just out, just trying to stretch those muscles a little bit. You know what it's like. It's always those muscles that you never use, forgot you had, or thought you lost. It seems that every time I talk to you, we're only out just stretching our legs. <laughs> it's just how we roll. A leg stretcher may be 30k a leg stretcher slash noodle could be 80 to 100 having said that i can't remember the last time i did a straight 100 kilometer ride should probably get that on the calendar for next year not many more of these rides to go it's been a pretty good summer we're now in fall the leaves are changing they are literally falling around us as we're riding um yeah it's been a good summer it's been a little wet at times but that's okay. Still got lots of riding in. Not too sure how much exactly, but I'm sure Strava will tell me sooner or later, and I will share that with my nearest and dearest. Got some things done this summer as well. Got some stuff done around the house. The aforementioned painting of the deck. Got some trips in. Got to play golf for the first time in over a decade. Now that was a little frightening. But damn, I look good. And that's what really matters, right at the end of the day. And we got one more trip coming. This may be the last vlog for a little while. I'm kind of busy at work. I don't do this professionally. And uh, where are we going? Copenhagen! <laughs> We're off to Copenhagen. I should know this about Copenhagen, but it is a uh, cycling mecca. Awesome cycling infrastructure that we're going to check out. I'm not too sure if we're going to ride bikes, probably not, but uh, we'll see. Going to check out the Copenhagen Rafa store. I'm going to check out Pan Normal Studios headquarters in Copenhagen. 
uh, going to remortgage the house and maybe buy a uh, a kit from Pat Normal. We'll see. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. I'm going to go to Copenhagen. I'm going to eat a lot and I can't wait. <laughs> we are going to eat a lot. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to implicate him in my debauchery in case he didn't want you to know. <laughs> yeah, should be fun. Not cheap, but it should be fun. One of the other reasons why I'm taking a bit of break from this channel is uh, I'm actually starting another channel. Um, I don't know if you've seen many of my videos, usually around Christmas time when I get a bunch of music as gifts. I post up what Linda bought me. I'm a bit of a music guy. Um, I don't know if you know that about me. I collect music, mostly records. I haven't bought a CD in a while. Yeah, always have been. Used to be a disc jockey back in the day. Radio, clubs, all that stuff. And that's kind of carried over. I don't disc jockey anymore. Um, but I still collect music and I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start another channel. Oral mixology. If you're so inclined, if you come here for the cycling content, uh, I'm not going away. And uh, I will still be posting cycling content on my life on two wheels. But if you have an interest in music and uh, have a slight interest in my, uh, what I think, extensive record collection, then uh, oral mixology. I'm gonna look at uh, posts each week about a record I find interesting. Anyways, enough about that. Yeah, it's been a good summer. I hope you've had an excellent summer as well. Hopefully you've been out riding a lot. It's the uh, World Championships this weekend. I missed the results for the ladies. I think the dudes are on today. Racing around Zurich. I did see the juniors. Um, I saw some of the U23s. I love it. It's good stuff. Don't go to the channel right away, Oral Mixology. I've yet to upload any videos. Just more of a heads up, that's a, a bit of a departure and um, I will be spending some time on that channel and its content within the next few weeks. Probably put out a video pertaining to Ty Siegel next week and then we're off to Copenhagen for an amazing holiday. Have a great week. At some point soon, we will regroup. I look forward to seeing you then. Take care of one another. See ya.